Today's video is sponsored by Primephonic. More on that later in the video. Today, I want to talk about how I listen to music, specifically when I'm researching a piece for a video. When I start my research, the first two things I do is find a copy of the score or sheet music and find as many recordings of the music as possible. The first step is usually easy. You can order the score or sheet music from many different publishers, but the second step can be the most frustrating part of researching a piece of music. I try to find at least three recordings of a piece and more if possible. You might be asking yourself, why try to look for as many recordings as possible? Shouldn't one recording be enough? You would think so, but even though classical music can be seen as rigid and set in stone, there's actually a lot of room for interpretation. That is why I try to listen to as many different recordings as possible, because there might be something I miss by just listening to one recording. Try not to think of each recording as carbon copies of each other. Instead, try to listen for the small differences that make each recording special. I want to hear those different interpretations by different musicians. Think of it like this. Classical music is a lot like Lord of the Rings. The characters stay the same, but the actors, the director, the setting of the story change. Are you a fan of the original books, the animated movie, or the live action films? It's still the same source material, but each artist brings their own interpretation to the story. Just like in classical music, when different musicians play the same piece, they bring their own interpretation to the music. And the one thing that's been helping me do this much faster is the Primephonic app. Primephonic is a streaming service dedicated to classical music. Unlike other streaming services, they have a much better search engine for classical music. So if we want to search for Shostakovich Fifth Symphony, we can go over here, search, and we'll just put Shostakovich 5 and search. And so it says, do you want the symphony, the string quartet, songs? Um, so we want the symphony. And immediately we get a recommended recording from an actual human being, and then all the other albums that this piece appears on. Instantly, we have so many different recordings to listen to. I bring up the Fifth Symphony because there's a recording that Leonard Bernstein made with the New York Philharmonic. Um, there it is. Uh, if you listen to the fourth movement on this recording, he takes it so fast. Let's listen to the first part. This was the first recording I ever heard of this piece. So I thought for the longest time that that's just how fast it was supposed to go. It wasn't until later that I realized most ensembles do not take it that fast. Uh, let's listen to another example. So you can hear very clearly the differences between those two interpretations. And there's things I like about the slow version and things that I like about the fast version, which is another great reason to listen to as many different recordings as you can so you can hear those different interpretations. I know I jumped right into the search function to show you that without showing you the home screen, so let's go back. Another thing I've been really enjoying is the Classical Encounters podcast. Um, for anyone who has watched this channel for a while, you know that I like learning about the lives of classical musicians and composers and sharing that with you. This is another great way to learn about musicians and composers in different eras in a nice podcast format. Uh, so for each time period, they have uh, the podcast episode, which is right there at the top, but they also have a playlist alongside every episode, so you can listen to the music that they talked about from all the different composers from that era. So right away, you can learn about that era, but also start listening to the music from that era. Uh, one of my favorite things to do lately is to go to the browse section. And they have a bunch of different ways to browse through the entire catalog, but I go to the genre section, and they have a dedicated experimental classical section. This is a genre of music that I honestly haven't listened to very much. 
but I want to learn more about it. And I found that Prime Phonic is a great way to learn about the composers and their music because they have the latest albums as well as the music by composers. And if we go into one of these composers, you'll see that they have popular works at the top. They have the latest albums for that composer. And they also have a biography. You can start learning about these composers and their music right away, very, very fast. So it makes it really easy to find something new to listen to. A bit more about Primephonic that you should know is that they pay their musicians differently than other streaming services. Where other services will pay per stream, so whether it's a 3 minute song or a 15 minute piece of music, they both only count as one stream. Primephonic, on the other hand, pays per second of music. So a piece of music that is 15 minutes long will pay more than a piece that is 3 minutes long. I really appreciate what Prime Funic is trying to do here to make sure musicians are being paid fairly on their platform. It's not every day that you see a streaming service looking for ways to pay their musicians more fairly. All that being said, the app is just lovely. The user interface is easy to navigate. The graphic design is beautiful. Everything just works. I haven't had any streaming issues. I haven't seen any bugs. And the best part so far no ads. So if you'd like to give Primephonic a try, they've given me a code for my viewers to try Primephonic free for two months. Use the voucher code ODDQUARTET in all caps when you sign up and you will get two months free. There will be a link in the description to the sign up page. Whether you're an old pro and know exactly what you want to listen to, or a newbie who wants to explore all the options, Primephonic has the tools for you to find the music you're looking for. Thank you so much to Primephonic, and thank you for watching.